Hello everybody. You watch this video and you'll understand how this clutch dog works. Whether yours is jumping out of gear or won't go into gear. I'm fitting to clear this up. Now, this gear sits right here. And this clutch dog moves back and forth from one gear to another. The center is neutral. This is the shift, shifter rod. And this is the neutral setting position right here. Okay, if you go to reverse, this pushes this in, and this clutch dog has a spring and pin in it, and it pushes this back to the reverse gear. And when you shift this into forward, this comes out a little bit, and, it, and the clutch dog comes out and goes into the forward gear because it's got this spring in there. Now, I'm trying to wrap all this up for y'all, but if you got one that's jumping out of gear, uh, this is what it's doing and uh, these edges will get rounded and it's real expensive to buy gears but I heard you could get the, take this to a machine shop and get it cut you probably don't need to even try it yourself my motor wasn't jumping wasn't jumping out of gear but it wasn't going into reverse good and, and I got another video about how to tighten uh, the linkage up on the motor part and I've been doing that but uh, I found four things here. Look how crooked this pin is here. That goes through this uh, clutch dog. Now, that's loose play there. And then, look at these two parts. This goes inside the clutch dog, and this pushes up against this with the spring behind it. Okay, and then... Uh, these two parts right here. Now, I bought a, another one off of eBay. It's used, but it's not near as wore out as this one right here. Okay, and then and then look how loose this right here is. That's a lot on, on parts like this. To make a long story short, when I'm going up to reverse, it's just simply not moving my uh, clutch dog back far enough into the reverse gear to that it's catching good as far as like as if yours is jumping out of gear uh if it's doing it on high rpm it's probably more than likely that uh the dogs here are war and uh, maybe the uh the clutch the clutch dog is too mine's war a little bit but it ain't too bad i'm fit to put this thing back together and i'll show you what it looks like put back together all right i got this part put back together but i'm gonna show you this right here when you shift it in reverse, this is what it's doing. And it's spring loaded. And if they, look at that. If they lose play, it'll find it because I'm pressing there a pretty good bit. But if you got loose play in your motor, that spring right there will find it. All right, I took the cam shifter and I replaced it with another one. And uh, this one don't wobble like that. But... It's in my opinion that this was probably the biggest thing wrong with this uh, with this thing not wanting to go in reverse is this right here moving the way it was. Alright, I'm fit to crank it up in two seconds. Listen to this clunk when it goes in reverse. That's the way it's supposed to do. 